In cybersecurity, there is a constant influx of new training material, both free and paid, and so with so many options available, it's important to identify the best platforms, especially as a beginner, and to understand why hands-on labs are essential for learning. So in this video, we'll explore three top platforms of where you can access free labs. I believe it's the best and effective way to gain practical experience. So that takes us on to our first platform, which is Let's Defend. All of the links for the platforms we're using today will be in the description so you can easily click onto them. Once you clicked onto the Let's Defend link, you'll be asked to sign up if you already don't have an account. And whilst you're doing that, they will ask you what you're interested in. Which is why I've already been given this SOC Analyst pathway as I completed the questions previously. You unlock more and more courses as you go along this pathway and you complete the previous ones. You'll start off with the fundamentals and cover a lot more courses. You can see, as I said, mine is related to SOC related activity like SEAM and Threat Intelligence. Just to give you an example, diving into the SOC fundamentals here, you can see that in this course they will cover a total of 9 lessons, 11 lesson questions and 1 lesson quiz. And as mentioned previously, it's related to the SOC, so we have things like log management, threat intelligence feeds, and so on. But this video is about labs, so what you'll need to do is jump into the challenge section at the top. Once you do this, you'll be provided a total of 63 results, which is correct of when I record this video. You can filter easily on the left hand side or scroll through the different options just to give a read of what challenges there are. Let's have a look at some fishing examples here. You can see we have both a beginner and medium rated challenge. Diving into the email analysis one, you can see for this challenge, we've recently received an email from someone trying to impersonate a company. And our job is to analyze the email to see if it's suspicious. A really good real world scenario. And you can see after loading up the lab, we've been given 55 minutes within this lab time and we have some questions that we need to answer down below. Like what is the email address of the recipient? What is the country that the IP address is from? What is the SHA-256 hash? So all we need to do is go into the lab, jump into the files folder, and we have everything that we need. You can see how easily we've loaded up the email address that is in question. And to answer the first question, all we need to do is give a quick read and find out the sending email address. You can see we have that at the top and all we need to do is populate that into the tab there. If you do get stuck, there are plenty of hints available, but I recommend trying a few times before you do that. You can see we've got that correct and all we need to do now is carry on going through the questions. So very easy to use and definitely free as I've not signed up by paying here. It's very quick and easy to do everything that you need. So do give that a go and let me know how you find it in the comments below. Next up we have Hack the Box. It's one that I've mentioned a lot of times in my previous videos but if you're new to the channel, Hack the Box is an online platform that is designed to offer more of a hands-on practical learning experience rather than the usual format of watching videos and taking notes. And it's one that I probably believe is one of the best out there in terms of the content that they have. So once you visit the link in the description below and you've signed up, you'll be offered this getting started screen. And here is where you can choose whether you are interested in red teaming or blue teaming. You can see both have different starting points and you can go into different challenges depending on which one you're more interested in. So looking at blue teaming here, you start learning with Sherlock's where you jump into realistic guided cyber attack scenarios. Having a look here, what we have, we have many different Sherlock challenges that we can easily go through with ratings in terms of users that have already done these and we also have the level of difficulty. So you can see they go from very easy to easy and higher. Clicking into one of these as an example, you can see we're given a scenario and then we have a zip file along with questions that we need to answer, pretty similar to the platform previously. So analyzing the auth log, can you identify the IP address used by the attacker to carry out a brute force attack? Again, a very realistic scenario in which you would be doing incident response in a cybersecurity role. You can see how many times users have resolved these questions and the release date of this scenario. 
it's very easy to look at the write-up if you need to view all the information behind the scenes, like the scenario, the skills you're going to use, tags, initial analysis. This is really useful stuff for adding things into your resume when you need to. If you complete many challenges, these are things you want to include in your resume to show employers exactly what you've been doing in your spare time. There's lots of information here for you if you do get stuck as well. So they make it really easy for you as a beginner trying to get into cybersecurity. You can see there's a lot of information and you can easily go through this within your own time. Jumping back into the platform, if we have a look at the Sherlock's again, just to have, give you another example about another scenario, you can see we have also different categories like cloud. So it's not just focusing in one area. We can also look at cloud challenges where it looks at things like AWS, which is one of the biggest services used around the world. So very relevant if you're looking to get a job in either cloud or cybersecurity. All of the questions are related to cloud security. You can see how many access keys were compromised at a minimum as one of the questions. So I highly recommend you give this a go if you're trying out one of these platforms. Next up, we have Try Hack Me. This platform is very similar to Hack the Box, which we just previously went through, but it's probably one of the ones that people know the most and is the most popular because it's been around for a while. And over the time, their labs have honestly got really good. So when you visit the link in the description, you'll see you'll be given this page where you can choose your learning path. You can either go through red teaming, SOC level one or junior penetration tester. And that's because of what I pre-populated beforehand. So there are other options depending on what you fill in. You can easily view the paths or you can jump straight into the learning and it's very easy to do so. So having a look at the red teaming path, you can see the introduction breakdown and what's in each section. You're covering red team fundamentals, red teaming threat intel, phishing, enumeration, data exfil, and Windows internals, just as a brief glance. So really good stuff that's being covered. You can see in the SOC fundamentals, you're looking at the kill chain, Yara rules, MISP, Snort, Zeek, really good stuff that you will want to be learning as a beginner. So let's jump straight into that by clicking start learning. You're given an intro, which you can easily go through and complete little different tasks that are really good real life scenarios for if you are becoming a junior security analyst. And you can see the breakdown in terms of working your way up tiers, tier one all the way through to tier three. So it's really good where you can answer questions and gain lots of information. But as I said before, this is about laps. So what you want to do is you want to jump into the learning pathways. This is where you can easily view the different pathways and jump into different areas which interest you. They literally have everything and they must have something that you're interested in. So I highly recommend you check it out. Looking at the cyber de defense pathway, you can see they have 34 hands-on labs just for this scenario. So it's crazy how much they have. It'll cover over 48 hours and has six tasks with 34 different rooms. So just look at the content that's being covered, which we saw before. You're covering things like Splunk, Sys internals, Volatility, Redline, and many, many more. So I highly recommend that you enroll in the paths that you're interested in. It's very easy and it's free to do so. That's being the best part. And you can easily schedule how you want to do your learning in terms of hours, as that will give you a deadline date. This is not something you need 40 hours a week for. You could easily do it with an hour a week. It will just be a longer deadline date, of course, and you'll always finish with a certification. All you need to do is easily click that start learning button, which is when you'll jump into this lab scenario. And it's very easy to connect and start your machine. They have all the instructions laid out. All you need to do is hit that green button. Obviously I've skipped a few parts of the lab loading here. It's not as quick as that, but as soon as that's clicked, it will take a minute or two to load up. And when it does, all you need to do is click start machine and you can see how my screen split automatically and you're already jumped into the lab scenario with the terminal open and some instructions on using the lab. You can easily click and flick into different folders to view the tools that are available and have a go at doing your scenarios and answering your questions, just like we've done in the previous platforms. So let me know how you get on. 
which one of these you find most interesting and if you even knew about any of these platforms. If you've enjoyed the video, do let me know and join our Discord where I'm constantly sending more hints and tips for cybersecurity. We have over a thousand members in there now, so we're constantly contributing more content. If you enjoyed the video, do leave a like. It massively helps the video out and shows me that you're enjoying this type of content.